guys my screen is visible to all of you three of you yes ma'am okay okay so this is how we can extract uh, i mean words of i mean username which are having different length okay i hope it is clear to all of you are you having any doubt ma'am where yes we can find like uh, dax like library of dax yeah yeah i am not able to hear for properly i think my internet connection is okay. unstable yeah what you said ma'am mean means where we can find the library of the things like like you said like left okay. search and yeah the things like this actually i will give you a pdf with some cheat codes and formula are there from okay ma'am from there you can get some functions regarding dax functions okay you can use you can try them one by one okay so up to this i hope things are clear uh now let us move on to another thing that is a switch statement okay uh switch function so for that uh before moving to switch i want to tell you one thing like uh in transform power query there is an option called uh, i mean you can merge this Uh, three columns like mr first name last name all these things you can merge okay for that click on prefix then press control first name last name okay then you can this is not part of tag i mean uh, this is not a formula itself but you can use it okay so here uh, there is one merge column option is there okay you can merge them okay If uh, whatever separator you want, I am putting space as a separator, and I am writing it as full name. Okay, full name, right? And I am clicking on OK. When I am doing it, what happened? What happened, guys? It became a single column, right? Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. If you want to, uh, if uh, if you want to add it as now i am doing i'm undoing it okay i have to simply press this uh, cross button so i can undo it if you want to add it as a another column so in that case go to add columns okay the same way you have to press all of them okay then merge column option is there when you will click that one another um, i mean uh, column will be made i am taking this uh, space okay merge itself is okay we will delete it later no problem okay so let us see whether uh, yeah merged here you can see everything got merged okay if you want to split it you can simply click the column and uh, in transform there is an option called split you simply uh, use this delimiter and uh, space itself it is taking okay okay so you can see it got split Okay, if you want to undo all these things, just uh, uh, click on cross marks. Okay, it will be undone like this. Okay, so this thing also we can we will try to split it with the help of delimiter. Okay, so where was the option split? Yes, yeah, split column by delimiter. Here, okay, by custom it is coming. Okay, uh. okay so it got split it so there are two ways to do it okay either you can simply split it like this or you can use those uh, left function and all okay is it clear everyone uh, yes i'm uh, i'm searching for this option only split by delimiter okay 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 so it is clear right this is one way of doing it Ah, uh, sorry. This is another way of doing it. Okay, right? Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So, ah, uh, now we will move on to the another function. Discard. It is not. I mean, okay. Ah, uh, so this is product categories. Okay, product categories like bikes, components, clothing, accessories, corresponding to the two wheeler, ah, uh, whatever business they are doing. Okay, 
now uh, see in our yo shops also okay in our yo shops also you can see over here okay there are some categories toys mobiles laptops accessories electronics home kitchens fashion food services okay these are the of, uh, some of our categories okay and what is inside it is subcategories like playstation drones uh, rc toys soft toys gaming accessories okay it is clearly visible in this site when you will plot it in a table okay so in that case uh, cat category name and uh, subcategory name that those things should come right now what is happening over here okay in this particular company okay this is the category name that is specified over here okay now in case of subcategory column you can see subcategories are there like uh, bikes uh, like for bikes one corresponds to bikes right you can see over here one corresponds to this is the product key one corresponds to bike two corresponds to components three means clothing four means accessories okay so here uh, that key is given but that particular column is not there okay so uh, actually uh, it is given in that manner so uh, corresponding to bike bike these are the subcategories mountain bikes road bikes touring bikes and corresponding to components handlebars bottom bracket brakes chain crank sets all those things are there okay this is corresponding to clothing that is caps gloves jerseys shorts socks like that and corresponding to accessories uh, plums tire tubes those things are there okay only category name key is given name is not there if you want name so you can use if statement or you can go with data modeling also those two things are there that that are those two ways of doing it okay you can use any another way also that may also be possible but right now i am telling you two ways of doing it okay so first thing is using switch okay so i want a new column over here okay with the help of uh, this product key i have to make a new column so go to new column okay now here what i am going to write is switch okay uh, that is uh, category i am naming it as category okay category is equal to right or category name also we can say category name is equal to now uh, i am writing switch okay switch now within switch what i have to do is uh, i have to first mention the column name this is the column name specifying the category key i have to use it and with the help of that only i can see okay so uh, what is the uh, name of it cat uh, product category key right product category key okay this column right product category key this is the column name now i have to write uh, like what is entity within it one and corresponding to one what should come bikes okay so i have to write bikes okay and comma two corresponding to two what should come components okay right now next three and corresponding to three what should come clothings okay next four Corresponding to four, what should come? Accessories. Okay. So now I will close it. <coughs> Sorry. Right. Now uh, it uh, I have to press enter. <coughs> okay. Now you can see corresponding to one bikes is there. Corresponding to two components is there. Corresponding to three clothings corresponding to four accessories okay this is how we can get the category names also right now i'm going to delete this thing is it clear everyone how we got it we are switching this we are using this particular element and with the help of that we are you are actually placing this entity corresponding to it is it clear everyone yes 
Okay. Now I'm going to delete it and let us try it with some another form. Okay. Yes. Now, in case of uh, modeling, you can see this product category, this is that particular date. I mean, corresponding to category, this is the table. Okay. So, it is not connected to the product subcategory. It is not connected to it. So, we want to connect it so that we can make a new table out of it. Okay. So, for that, what I am going to do is, uh, first of all, I will transform it. Okay. Whatever... Okay, it is the thing, right? Now it is in this form. I actually want it in the form where product key is given and corresponding category is also there. Okay, so for that, uh, I have to transform it. Okay, I will go to transform. Power query. Okay, there I am having this categories. Okay. Now, what I should do, I have to make columns into rows and rows into columns. I want all this thing in a single column and all this first row in a single, uh, in next column. Okay. So, there is an option uh, in transform that is transpose. You can use this transpose. Okay. Uh, now, when you will click on transpose, what will happen? This particular thing, uh, actually row will become column and column will become row. Now, I am renaming it. I am renaming it as product key. Okay product key product category key right category key okay that is one thing now uh, i am renaming it as uh, category okay that's it okay now uh, i will save it whatever change is there okay now changes will be applied over here. That same change will be reflected over here. Whatever changes we are doing in Power Query, that change will be reflected over here. Now you can see that got transformed like this. Okay. Now in our uh, here, what was the common thing? Product category key and here, product category key. Let us combine these two things. Okay. So connection is made, isn't it, everyone? Okay, connection is made out of it. Okay, this particular column is the same as this product category key. Connection is done. Now we can create a table out of it. Okay, um, here uh, let us make the table for that product category key. I am taking that one. Then category. Okay, now I am taking subcategory. This is subcategory key, subcategory name I will take. Now you can see over here. I am not able to drag it. Some issues are there. Okay. So you can see. Uh, are you able to see it? Guys, I, are you able to see the change corresponding to a category? What is the subcategory? Is it clear? My voice is audible to all of you. Oh, yes, ma'am. It's clear, right? That is another way of doing it. You can use function or you can do modeling also to connect to tables. Okay. So that's it. Uh, so if you're having any doubts, you can ask. So today's content is over. I'm going to close the session. Before that, if you want to ask any doubt, you can go with it. Um, can we have this data for practicing? Yeah, I will send this data to you in a particular drive link if possible. Okay. Okay. Or I can send it. Uh, I I will upload it in GitHub or I will send that one. I I somehow I will manage it. Okay, don't worry about it. So I hope things are clear to all of you. Is it okay, everyone? Today's session. This is your last class. Okay. This is your last uh, yeah. basic class. This is your last basic class, and uh, 
uh, now you will get friday saturday classes uh, now onwards uh, and, and uh, today we are going to start a new batch and uh, now onwards i have to take classes basic classes for them okay so i am going to end the session if you are having any doubts you can ask ma'am share this recording video also yeah yeah i have recorded it and i will send it uh, i will uh, i mean um, um, yes, save it and I will send it to you. The link I will provide you. Uh, yesterday session is also available yeah, to you, right? Yes, ma'am. You have shared that YouTube link, ma'am. Huh, through that YouTube link, you can get it, na? Yeah, okay. Means it is already previously recorded, not yesterday. Yeah, what do you want to see? Means yesterday recorded session. Yesterday recorded session I have already shared with you, I think. That data modeling and all, it is there in your group. I think I have yeah, shared okay, it. You please check it. Since you are shared it. Okay, ma'am. I think I have shared it. If, if it is not there, you can message me in WhatsApp. Okay? Like if it is not shared, please share that link. I will share the link. Today's also I will share it to you. Okay? It is okay, a different playlist. Okay. Uh, Power BI 16, uh, something like that uh, is the name of the playlist. There you can find each and every uh, videos corresponding to uh, your, I mean, basic session. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, shall I close the session? Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you so much. So, all of you, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep growing. Okay, bye. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, Naveen. Uh, ma'am, actually, I um, completed task one, but uh, se session call is there, ma'am, 4 o'clock. Yes, status call will be there for tomorrow. Today, I won't be able to take it because today, induction session is there for the new batch. So, that there is a problem of the time clash. Yeah. At 4 o'clock itself, uh, induction session is there. That is the issue. Okay. So, tomorrow, we will discuss about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, then. Bye, okay. all. Okay, ma'am. Bye.